Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can get insights about the interactions between end users and your agents. Here we're in Coral Cloud Resorts customer facing site where customers can book and ask information about activities at their favorite resort. And for example here I can ask the service agent to give me some details or provide me with a schedule. So I can ask get me a personalized schedule based on all the activities that are available and on my favorite interests. Now, the agent needs to find who I am. And so to do this, it's gonna ask me my membership and email address. I'm gonna pretend I'm Sophia Rodriguez and I'm gonna provide my membership number. And now you can see there's a number of actions that are being chained. And because AI is stochastic, a number of things could go wrong in the interaction between the agent and the customer. And it can be hard to keep track of what's going on. In our case here, everything went fine. Uh, the agent was able to provide me with a list of activities based on my personal interests. But what happened behind the scenes? We're no longer an agent builder here, so we can't really tell for sure. Now, as an admin, I have access to something called the agent logs. Let's go and check it out. Here, in successful setup, we have our agent, the Coral Cloud agent, which is our service agent that helps us with customer inquiries. And there is one setting here called Enrich Event Logs of Conversation Data, which can be turned on and off depending on your security settings. If we do enable it like we did here, we'll have access to the details of the end user conversations with the agent and agent outputs. Now, if we go into Agent Builder, we're going to see our customer experience support topic, and we're going to have access to all of the actions and to the also to the event logs. Now, if our conversation logs were turned off, we would see something like this. This was a prior session in which I disabled the agent uh, log enrichment, and you can see every uh, action or item is actually hidden with uh, these placeholders because we've kept the data as sensitive. Now, we did enable logging in our last action run, so I'm going to go and explore our last interaction with the embedded messaging, the service agent. Here we can see the detail of our conversation. We can see all the different events that happened. We see here our first interaction when the customer, when the bot said hello, and then we can see here the first user input asking for a personalized schedule. Now we can move forward in the conversation and look at what happened. We can see that the session was engaged. We identify the right topic. The planning ad engine figured out that we are talking about customer experience support. It then provided us with a query to identify ourselves with our email address and membership number. The end user provided their details. Then uh, the, the bot was able to pick the right action to identify the customer details. And you can see here, uh, thanks to the, the membership number and the email, it was able to tell that this is our customer. It retrieved the favorite interests of our user and it was able to chain with a plan to figure out what was the next action. And it ran a second action there uh, to get the personalized schedule for our user. And it ended up with a list of suggestions based on our uh, interest, yoga class, et cetera, et cetera. And this is how you can debug end user interactions with your agents. Thanks for watching.